All right, so let's have a look at this. Bloody hell. All right. Queen of Pentacles coming up here. I love her. I absolutely love her. She doesn't really need anyone. She's very hardworking. Um, she makes everything look easy. That's the thing with the Queen of Pentacles. I always see her as, um, you know, someone she might run a business. She wears a cute little outfit. always immaculately put together. The kids are always clean. They always have home-cooked meals. And like she does all of that. She makes it look effortless. It might not be effortless, but, you know, it. she makes it look effortless. Very much that go-getter type energy. Now, she does all of that because she's... She's kind of, I always see her like the Empress. I think, I think she's the most like the Empress. Although for me, the Empress is all four of the Queens. She's the most like her. She is very nurturing, loving, caring. She does it for the good of her family, the people that she loves. That's who she wants to provide for. That's, she's not in it for the sake of the money itself. She's in it to give, you know, she wants her kids to be healthy. Pentacles is the physical body, home, security, investments work all of that stuff and she wants to provide the best for the people that she loves that's why she works so hard that's what inspires her to work so hard now the thing with the queen of pentacles is because she, she's so good at everything if she sees value in something she will make it work she will make it work so my lovely aquarians what is it that you're trying to figure out if it can work or not now it's around the you got seven of pentacles so it's something that you've been putting effort into you know what? There's this kind of sense of as if you've you've done something or you put effort into something and now you're waiting for the result to come back. Now you're waiting for it to come back. And it's probably happening very slowly if it's earth energy. But look at this. In the past, we have the three of wands. Three of wands is around our expectations. It's the actions that we take. Um, you know, because the ace of wands, we, had, we were fired up. We were inspired. We were passionate two of wands let's take it in a different direction let's try to give it all we can it's not enough to just talk the talk let's walk the walk right with the two of wands but we get to the three of wands now we're waiting to see what's come back from that initial work that we've put in but this is also saying that you know you're, you're waiting for your ships to come in but you don't just wait there's no real waiting and i kind of like this with her um i almost get the sense with that kind of magnifying glass it's like she's trying to light the way for something and doesn't her hand look like she's calling it forward? Like, come on then. Where are you? Come on. She's lighting up the way. So, and I know I've skipped from there to there. But that that's the foundation is the three of wands. And it kind of feels like you've been trying to usher this in. I always see the three of wands as a very kind of manifesting type card. Manifesting type card. And it's that part of the manifestation. Not where we set intentions. Not where we've done the work, whatever. Well, it could be some of that, the action that we take. This is where we start to see it, where we're ready for it to come, but we know it's coming in. There's no, I hope it comes in. There's no checking, will it come in? We know I've taken every step that I bloody can and this shit's going to happen. That's the three of wands. And so while we're waiting, we know this thing's coming in. What we do is we might be making a plan. We might be, you know, where am I going to take this? What am I going to do next? Like, no one, there's no... Um, what do they call that? Sitting on one's laurels. Like you're not waiting around, resting on one's laurels. That's the phrase, sorry. Um, but you know, there's none of that. You're still moving on. You're still deciding what you want to do. Isn't that the greatest act of faith? When we sit and wait, it's like we don't even believe it's going to happen. When we've already started implementing like the next step and the next step, we're making moves that, yeah, I'm just waiting for this to happen. Then I'm going to do this. That to me is the biggest kind of manifesting vibration that you can send out there because you know it's going to happen you know it your expectations will be met now that was then this is now and some of you've been waiting a long time you've been putting a lot of time and energy into whatever this is the career the relationship the lifestyle whatever whatever it is that you've been doing and that's you here but right now you've got the seven of pentacles with her right seven of pentacles is saying is it worth all the effort is it worth it? This card's been coming up quite a bit. It's still that kind of run of sevens coming up, if you guys remember from last time when I talked about the sevens. Um, but even with them, guys, I just want to say this. Those people that are just waiting, you're just waiting. You're watching your um, letterbox for the mail to come through or you're waiting for the phone call, you're waiting for the email, you're waiting for the whatever, whatever it is. That's not what any of this energy is around. And it's actually saying not to do that. I would never recommend doing that anyway. Never recommend doing that. Even when um, 
you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have heard me talk about this. The marshmallow test. The marshmallow test is where I can give you a marshmallow now. They said it to a kid. And it, they said it shows how prosperous they will be or how successful they will be, right? So if you give a kid, a, you can have a one marshmallow now. Or if you wait one hour, you can have two, right? And so we were talking about that, how delayed gratification can people do that? I wouldn't do it. If you said to me, but you know, you can do nothing but sit and wait for the two marshmallows. I'd be like, screw that. Give me the one. Then I can at least go and do something else, right? Which I know isn't part of the thing. But if you want to wait for the two, you don't just sit there and wait. It drives you nuts, right? That's about doing something else. And this is the same. They're obviously waiting for their baby to come. Have a look, she's pregnant. They didn't just wait. They know the baby's coming. They know that this thing that they've been working on, uh, this thing that they've been working on, I'm awful. But you know, whatever they've been putting effort into, and this is usually the gardener who's got who planted his garden. But you don't just sit and wait around. They've gotten the, the nursery ready. They've gotten everything ready for this baby. And that's what it is. It's like when you know it's coming in anyway, then you start getting re things ready, preparing it. But there can be a sense of frustration. Now, in this card, they've chosen to go with the patience angle more of the Seven of Pentacles. But for me, I do believe that it's more than that, right? And it's reminding yourself why it's worth it. Because you will get the rewards. You're at seven. You will get the rewards. But it can be frustrating at this point. Is it worth it anymore? Well, it is if the Queen of Pentacles says it is. No one is in a better position to know whether it's worth it or not than her. Now, have a look. I've got all of this going on. The focus is on the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups, that's a new beginning. Something that is emotionally fulfilling. But you're not the only sign that got this, Aquarius. Sagittarius got this too. So when that happens, it's not it's not the same message. But when this messages are so similar, even if you don't have any Sagittarius in your chart, you know, check it out because that version of the story might fit you more. If there's a connection, like, that's why I mention it. I've had people tell me they're going to leave the site if I mention other other signs. They're like, why did you mention other signs in my reading? I don't like that. Because that there's a message there for someone. There's a message there for someone. Now, with the Ace of Cups coming up, this is asking you, well, first of all, it's asking you what's in your cup. What is in your cup? How do you love yourself? Have you been loving yourself? Have you been taking care of yourself? You've obviously been working hard on something to create something to make it happen is then is july the month and it is cancer season guys bloody hell uh, is is the july the month where you now focus on what's in your cup what you really you know how do i feel about myself how have i been loving myself how have i emotionally grown you know what fills my cup what fills my cup so i get it you've been doing good out in the world you've been trying to create something amazing but it comes back to self, how we feel with the Ace of Cups coming up here. And everything revolves around that. Every great love story begins with the Ace of Cups. But that's our cup. Because then we're going to take that cup out into the world. That's the Two of Cups. And whatever is in our cup will be matched by someone else's cup. I actually pulled this for um, the lunar eclipse. No, sorry, the solar eclipse message a few days ago. Um at the beginning of July on Instagram. And and I did it live and we were talking about the Ace of Cups and I said, well, you know what we do? We fill our cup and then we change the cup size so it's not enough, right? So at one time, maybe it's enough that I chill out and I do this and that makes me happy and the rest of it. And then it's like, oh, I think I'll get a bigger cup. Now that's not enough anymore. Then we want more. So I don't know why that came back to mind, but some of you, that's what it is. Do you need to keep working on this, whatever it is? Are you just changing up the size of your cup? There are themes around that coming up. You have the King of Pentacles coming up in the present. Now, you are already the Queen of Pentacles and you have the King of Pentacles here. So I'm going to take care of if they're the same person because they can be. I know court cards are very confusing for a lot of people. In gen in a personal, I would re read them individually, but, you know, in well, it depends on the question. But here in a general, we have to cover a few different scenarios. So the first one. If this is the the queen, the kings are, are higher than the queens. Not to say men are better before people get their knickers in a twist. It's more about, you know, the queens are the supporting act. They they help. They're, they're obviously queens as well and they run things, but they're more supporting. They're nurturing. They're caring energy. The kings are in charge. It's their kingdom. They're, they're more fixed. They're not as, I always feel that, you know, 
the queens, they might be the ones that whisper the thing and the king would give him the idea or say, maybe we should do this, right? And the king makes it happen. He's what's going to make it happen. And so they've reached mastery. The kings have reached mastery of their suits. And the king of pentacles, so if this is the same, that's a progression. This is success. Something that you've been waiting for, it's coming in now. I'm not saying it will come in because I don't do that. You can't tell people that, oh yeah, it's coming in because it isn't for everyone because not everyone's taken the same steps. But this is in the present. So those of you that this is for, you know that. There's a level of success, a level of stability, a level of being ready to commit to something coming in with the King of Pentacles. Both of them are very traditional. Both of them are very committed. Very committed. I've heard some people say some very nasty things about the King and Queen of Pentacles because Pentacles are the body, right? And so when they say that like, the King of Pentacles is very, he's very um, focused on his money, on security and stability. Yes, he is. But then there's this thing of he's very focused on the physical body as well. And yes, actually, um, sex is covered by pentacles. I know a lot of people think it's wands. I don't think it is. Because the physical act, what's physically real, is pentacles. Wands is more the passion, the desire. You know, I'd say wands is what gets us in the bedroom. Pentacles is what happens in the bedroom. Let me just leave it at that. But... um not when you get these two and not when you get the rest of it. You have to look at it in context of what else is coming up. And so with the King and Queen of Pentacles, that is an amazing partnership. Those are two people that they will have each other's back. They will support each other. They're on the same. They work as hard as each other. They will support each other with what they're trying to build. They can build, some, they can build something amazing together. Now, the signs don't own the cards, right? They just lend their characteristics to it. Um... And so with these two, yes, that's big earth energy, but for an air sign like you, Aquarius, getting earth energy like that, that's very grounded. You know, uh, it's something big that you are ready to commit to. You've you've either been committed, and I'd say you have to some extent with that seven of pentacles coming up, but it's left you in a place now where you're stable enough to go and explore a new love or something that makes you happy or to even look in your bloody cup. Have you been looking in your cup? Have you been neglecting your cup? putting in effort, trying to make something else work. If this is a business reading, it doesn't even have to be work. And if these are two different people, then, you know, the work that you've been doing, then someone else is coming in here to help you. That could be a tax advisor. That could be someone who manages your admin side, like, you know, whatever it is. But it's someone who helps you. Because maybe is it worth the effort? And you're like, well, I can't keep putting in that much effort. I can't keep doing it, all of this. Uh, there's things that I love to do that, you know, I maybe have to take some time off or go take care of myself. So then that would be help coming in with the King of Pentacles, a partnership there. But if this is romantic, this might be, you know, that you've met someone through work. It could be, I don't know, there's a very grounded feeling. I really like these two and I would never take it lightly. I mean, with the, none of them, obviously, if you get the King, Queen of Swords, King, Queen of Cups, whatever, but... It's the meeting of two minds, right? It's the meeting of two um, hearts with the King and Queen of Cups. Or, you know, King and Queen of Wands, they are, they're amazing. They love to have fun together. They pursue their passions together. And they're happy for the other to be like, each other to be in the spotlights. They have their own spotlight, so they don't really need the other persons. And they get each, they both get more seen by more people. And I know I'm talking about the other Kings and Queens is the reason. Because these two are very different. Very different. They're very focused on the practical stuff. And I know it sounds boring. And it would be if the Ace of Cups was in there. It makes you so happy. Are you longing for this kind of security and stability, Aquarius? Has it been a long slog trying to make this happen yourself? Like putting all that effort in yourself? Now, there's another thing that comes in, though. And I, I, I talked about this in another, another one of the readings. And that is when we get help, especially like we'll keep it business for a moment. So for me, right, it's important. I'm the only one that can do the readings. No one else can do the readings, right? I can't employ someone to come on and be J Aquarian Insight and do the readings. That has to be me. But there are other parts of what I do, like replying to emails or, you know, um, updating the website or doing those things that I don't necessarily have to do that. That's not the best use of my energy of what I bring to the table to do. And so I remember the first time when I was considering getting help and stuff, it was like, no, it's my baby. I'm not giving up my baby to someone else. I've worked hard on this. So there can be some of that. There can be some of that. And I'm not the best person to work with, trust me. Um, because 
I get very serious. And um, so, you know, there's some of that coming in here. Now, I'm going to say this. Either this is someone that you work with and there's, I don't know, have feelings started to be stirred. It doesn't have to be romantic at all. This Ace of Cups might be, I need to go spend time on my own. I need to self-care, self-love, all the rest of it. And then maybe this person allows that to happen at work. Or, I don't know, this could be also that you can't take the time off to do it because you're in a partnership. Do you see what I mean? If there's just the two of you running a company, how can you do that? So that it's going to play out in a number of different ways. I will pull a clarifier for that King of Pentacles in just a moment. But with the Ten of Wands coming up in the future... It's not easy. Why do you see this as a struggle? Why do you see this as a struggle? And it's so interesting that it came up for both Aquarius and Sagittarius. Later on today, after I've done the readings, I'm going to sit and try to ponder if this applies to me. But I don't do that in readings because I'm not there for them. It's not about me. It's about you. So, Ten of Wands, it's a burden though. But something needs to be dropped. What needs to be dropped to make this happen? For this new beginning, emotional new beginning to come up. Now you have strength coming up as the advisor. Well, courage, right? That's very easy to say. You've got the courage. You can overcome these obstacles. There is something that can to be overcome here. I mean, I'll give you an example. At one end of the spectrum, you've been working hard, trying to work for that promotion. And oh my God, you've just fallen for someone at work. And that could mess everything up, right? Think about it. An office romance when you, you know, work so hard to show what you're made of. That's just one example. But it could be something around that. In another sense, it could be someone who comes in to help you. I, I get it, it's more help. And you bloody need the help because Ten of Wands is, it's a burden. But it could also be that the, the feelings that you have yourself, and I said this to Sagittarius as well, that it's an inconvenient, it feels inconvenient, but it doesn't feel that inconvenient for you guys. It's just like, oh, God, what? Like, it wouldn't tell you that courage is needed. What does it say? When someone says to you, look, you need to be brave. You can do this. I'll hold your hand. But you know, you're going to have to face this. That, that's mostly with our fears and doubts. 